Rolling. All right. So, what are we doing today? Milking, ma making a water filter. Milking a water filter. What are we doing? <laughs> making a water filter. Making a water filter. And what are we, what's all this stuff? Why do we have all this stuff in the way? Uh, to build it. There's to build, charcoal. To build what? We're going to build the water, water filter, filter out of this? Yeah. Well, just a uh, small uh, piece of everything. And what is this? This is big, small rocks. Small rocks? Okay, small rocks. And what's in the other bag? Bigger rocks. Bigger rocks. And what's in the other bag? Sand, which I can't pick up. Okay, sand. So we got rocks, more rocks, and sand. And what's this? Charcoal. Charcoal what? Not charcoal for our water filter. Charcoal. So you can, this is like for the barbecue? No. No. It's something different. It's activated carbon. Activated carbon. Okay. So, and what's so great about activated car carbon? That it's really good for filtering the water. Because it's porous. Yeah. And it has a lot of different cavities and layers, so it has a lot of surface area yes. for the water to pass over. Yes. yes. We're going to make a water filter out of this stuff. Yes. On the bottom here. But what is this? This is a water well, cooler. Yeah. We're going to put some yeah. Kool-Aid in there? No. We will eventually. We're going to put all these elements in here? Yes. Make water. We're just going to mix them all in, or no. what are we doing? We're going to have to put them, not, don't mix them, you just like um, put them in by a certain order. A certain order, we're going to layer the yes. material. Layer. Okay, and then what are we going to do after we've got all the materials layered in here? Um, we have to put a little something on top with a couple of holes so it doesn't go down really fast. Okay. It would just make it dirty. Okay. And we pour some water on top of here. What kind of water? Um, muddy water. Uh, dirty water. Or dirty like water. That. Dirty water. We're gonna pour dirty water in the top. Anything that's black. Okay. And then what's gonna happen? We hope. Um, that it will filter. What? The water will filter. Yeah. What? Down through the material? Yeah, it filters all the way down to, to here, and then you can press it. In. Okay. So we're gonna pour dirty water in the top, yes. and clean water is gonna come out the bottom. Okay. So what's the first thing we have to do with all our materials here? Um, wash them. Okay, so we got some clean water. I've taken some of the rocks. All right, uh, Flynn, our trusty uh, supervisor on the projects, moved behind the camera. So, what do I do Hi. with these rocks? You gotta wash them in the pail of water. I wash them in the pail of water. Yeah, they I think are. I got a Timex on. Oh man, look how dirty that water is! All I thought those rocks looked pretty clean. Can you see how gross that is? Yeah. All right, so right now we're washing them again. Just gotta. But this time we put them in and then we gotta put the water in, so that's washing them now. Water's a bit cleaner. Up we go. Okay, well I think that's pretty good. I think it's pretty clean. What do you think? Nope, because that's what filters our water. Rinse them again. You mean that's, well I know that's what filters our water. I rinsed them. Rinse them again, they're not that clean. Well, so what if they're not that clean? Because then we'll have muddy water. Oh, so we have to have clean material inside our filter. That's it. Okay, I'll wash them again. Make sure you have that all supervision. Can you see? Yeah, you gotta look clean. Okay, so I just finished washing them. I washed them about four, five more times. Are they so. clean enough to lick? Do the lick test. Lick it. Wait, right, do we see that? Here, Not is bad. it clean enough to lick? All right, that's a clean rock. Okay, Not bad. all right. Not bad. So, I washed the sand. Fun's gonna go back behind the camera there. So because uh, sand's kind of hard to wash and filter, we washed it as best we could. And then uh, I made some sand soup, and I boiled it with mm, some water, and I yummy. boiled it up. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, I didn't know what kind of bacteria and stuff was in there, so I wanted to make sure I killed everything. I guess we could microwave it if we wanted to, but. Anyway, our sand is clean and our rocks are clean. Uh, the small rocks, where's the small small rocks? The small yeah. rocks, okay. And we hope we're gonna have to wash those too. So once we get those, once we get the small rocks washed up and we wash our charcoal, we can uh, get to work, okay? Oh, my assistant is. Okay, so we're just gonna wash, we're just washing some more rocks because we didn't have enough before. So, we're, we put them on a screen and we're just gonna rinse them off 
Well, that's my dad's yep. gonna okay. move them, so. Think we'll find any gold? Maybe. This is how they, this is one of the ways you used to look for gold, eh? This is true. Well, yeah, from a barf net. Okay, let's pour some in there. So this is charcoal. All right. So basically, so here's what? A, yeah. What's this? Pail of water. Clean, clean water. So basically, what do you do? You take it and you just dunk it in. Okay. Some, right. most of them will probably go out. Oh look. <laughs> you. Pretty dirty there. Okay. Well, how about I enter this out? We'll get some more clean water and we'll do it again. Okay. All right, so we've got clean sand, clean rocks, which you licked, smaller rocks, which we just washed. Okay, so this is charcoal and this is small rocks. Okay. Ideally, if we could have had some even smaller rocks in between this size and the charcoal, that would have been good because even smaller rocks between that and the sand would have been good, but unfortunately we couldn't find anything no. like that in our neighborhood. So. Okay, so... Uh, now we're going to put it all into there. And, uh, and what's this, Professor Flynn? Cotton. Cotton. Can I see it? Oh, it's soft. It looks like cotton. It is. What are we going to do with cotton? Because the sand is too dirty. The silt yeah. in the sand. Yeah, so you, we're going to use this to get not stop that silt from going down. Okay, so we're going to use it as another type of uh, straining device. Yes. Okay, so we need to cut this to fit in here then. Yes. Okay, all right, so let's do that. Layer it now. First, we're going to start with the cotton. Okay. We're going to put it all the way down and make sure it's covering the um, vellum here, like at the end here, so nothing escapes, no dirt or anything that might get through. Hopefully by the time it gets to that, it's pretty clean. Yes. Okay, so this so, is just, just just in case. Now I'm laying in like a big crater, okay. kind of. So now we're going to put in the rocks. All right. Put at least okay. two Let centimeters. Just, how much? About two centimeters. Maybe a little more. Yeah. All two right. So, want some help? Yes. Okay. Put your hand all the way in there. Okay, so now we're gonna put in the small rocks. All right. On top of I'll help you hold it there. Try and hold. These ones are a bit easier because they're small. All right. Put them in. Don't try. Try not to mix them. Well, the big rocks. Hopefully, the small rocks will uh, not go down that far because the big rocks are there as well, right? I'm gonna take the charcoal and put it on top of the small rocks. I'm not gonna use my hands because that'll be take a while, so I'm just gonna pour it in like this. Is that good? Alright, okay. So I'll make a nice uh, make it nice and even. If you maybe get down low and have a look, you can see if it's even or not. It's pretty even. Pretty even? Okay. Alright. 